and I'm back. What I'm doing here today is I'm gonna put this roof vent in a, an RV. It's in good shape, it's got the crank, and this is the flange that goes inside with the screen. And the reason I'm changing this, I will show you something here. Somebody had a leaking, or actually so the, this guy, whoever had this trailer, uh, they had a broken vent. And, and, and that's how they fixed it. See, the vent was broken. I, you know, there was a little bit more to it here when I got it, but it was still broken down the middle. So they just squirted a bunch of that foam in there. And do you think that fixed it? No. No, it leaked. It leaked all down in through. That's why this corner's, you know, rotten down in there. Uh, you know what I mean? But so anyway, I'm going to just get rid of that. I'm taking it out along this flange here. There's a on this particular model, these are quarter inch uh, bolts that held it in. And it's a pretty simple fix, but can you imagine? I mean, you imagine having a leak in, in something like, you know, an RV, you know, and you don't want water inside of these things, but that was how they fixed it. Anyway, I've seen it all now, I think. Okay, so I got the old one out. The new one's waiting to go in there. I clean up around this flange. You know, these RVs have an aluminum roof on them, so, you know, I mean, if you if you keep caulking around all these openings, they should never leak, you know, like, it's never going to leak over there. It's not like a fabric roof, but, you know, people just let them go. Uh, I'm using this stuff here called Big Stretch. It's a flexible white caulking. You know, there's a million other things you can use to seal this into the ceiling. Um, that being said, you know, this is not the end-all and do-all repair for this particular RV. Uh, it's obviously got some uh, water damage inside in the ceiling and whatnot, and that's a, a repair for another time. Uh, all I want to do is just get it uh, buttoned up for now. So uh, I'm going to seal it with this stuff. I got some new three-quarter screws, and uh, we'll get that buttoned down. Just put a little bead like that. Okay, like that. Uh, make sure we get the hinge the right way. The hinge is at the back. Sit that one down on there. Okay, so I put all the screws in there. And it was nice to see a bit of the caulking come up around the screws as I screwed it down. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this off. Is it a mess? Yeah, it makes a mess, but it's on the top of the roof. And if it keeps the water out, does it matter if it looks a little sloppy? Yes, but does it really matter? No. And you can put as much as this stuff on as you want. You can put another layer over this, this'll do it. But if you want it really pretty, you know, I'm probably gonna make it really pretty. I'm probably gonna go around it again, smooth it over all the little cracks but like I say that's your own preference that's your own preference there, and there's the trim put on the inside the screen and the crank handle in there you go and that's how that's done thanks for watching Comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you again here soon on Everyday Projects. Bye for now.